Got one. Oh, a little baby one. Or it's a little bluegill. Or sunfish. Well, the pond is fuller than it's been lately. Yes, it is. Yeah, you got yourself a nice fish this morning. Yeah, I caught a fish. Yeah. yeah. Was not expecting to. <laughs> I never caught. I have never caught a fish in there with a artificial lure yet. Well, today was so, the day. Today was the day. Today's gearing up to be a very good day. Mm -hmm. Not just because you caught a fish, but uh, because today is actually our daughter's birthday. Yes, our oldest daughter is now twelve. We have a tween. Oh my goodness. And it's the last of the tween years. Next year we'll have us a teenager, and I can't believe that. You know, we're old enough to have a teenager, but hey, time marches on, right? Yep. Time we're, marches on. We're there now, huh? Yep. All this gray is uh, turning into a reason. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Crossing the creek here. Yep. We've had us a nice relaxing morning so far. Yesterday about licked us, man. My back is feeling it a little bit from raising up all of those posts. Yeah. But yeah. it's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. Those those things are, uh, you know, treated and nice and good and shouldn't fail us. Very in the heavy. elements. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. So yeah. if they do fail us, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> nah, they won't fail. They won't fail. No. And all those notches and stuff that you got made it nice and tight and secured. Yes. And they're lined up exactly where we need it to be. So that's awesome. It's uh, it's looking like it's shaping up really good. Yeah. I have uh, still one more post put up, but we've got a couple of things that we got to deal with first. I have to spend a lot of my time in the kitchen today because yes. we just mentioned it's Julia's birthday today. And yep. something that we like to do for our children is make them a very special birthday dinner. Yep. And tonight, Julia has requested some Asian food. And I'm not exactly the best at cooking Asian food. I've done it a few times, but it's not my specialty. I don't have a lot of experience with it. No. And Julia wants lo mein and some orange chicken. So I'm gonna do my best to give my girl lo mein and orange chicken. I mean, if all else fails, we can always zip into town and go to the Asian uh, the restaurant, right? And pick no. up some to-go, but I really wanna try to do this for her. And I, I know that she really would like me to make it. Yeah. Another thing that she wants from me is she wants me to make her a uh, strawberry cheesecake and I know I got that one like you without a that. doubt I got that so you I'm, got that that's for sure yeah so I gotta get into the kitchen and I have to make Julia her birthday dinner and I have to make her her birthday dessert before they come home from school today it's uh, it's gonna be a good day I've got one thing that I got to do inside before I go out there and do all that so I gotta put together a uh, Juju's bike yeah so that's going to be fun. It is going to be very fun. You know, we actually already had the kids' birthday parties. Um, mm -hmm. Abraham and Julia are four days apart. And yep. Abraham's birthday was actually on Sunday. And Julia's birthday, like we said, is today. Well, last weekend on Saturday, we actually celebrated the kids' birthday party. And yep. it's so crazy because today the weather is nice and sunny and blue skies, but no, no, no. On their actual birthday party, of course, it was super windy and very cold, yep. uh, but that's all right because the kids had a blast nonetheless. Yes. They had so yes. much fun. Uh, we took them to the park in Boonville, we set up, and then they were able to invite some of their school friends. Yep. We had the Fram Bam come over. Um, they honestly had a blast. In fact, I got a little bit of footage that I wanna share with you guys. Check this out. All right, everybody. On the count of three. Looking for my mother's eyes as I'm staying close to the mirrors. For a lock of gold, a secret smile, little things are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're walking. Come here. Come here. I can't believe you're doing so good. Oh, I'm a good girl. I know you're good. Sometimes I can feel her. Oh, really? 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 Oh, really
The kids had a blast. They had so much fun, guys. And it, that, that was really when they had, you know, with the big singing happy birthday and they got all of their presents and stuff, you know, yeah. so. They were running around like as if it wasn't cold. Yeah, no. And all the grown-ups <laughs> and parents were sitting there. Oh, oh, oh. With our hot hands in yeah, our pockets. Hot hands. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you had chili made, you know, nice yes. and warm and those smokies and all I that. I did. I made chili, I made smokies, and then I did make like these um, sandwiches and stuff too, but they didn't really get ate too much because everyone no. was so cold. Everyone wanted all the hot stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, before we uh, run on inside, I'm going to move our tires on the inside of our tiny over there yeah we're getting ourselves ready for our big uh, cross-country road trip that we're going to be taking in about two weeks we're going for a very good friend of ours wedding um, but we're also going to go and spend a lot of time with gary's family so the mystery will be solved on gary's family gary's origins yep. mystery solved <laughs> yep. so it's going to be a good time yeah but i'm super glad that we got these tires got them online they got delivered and now I've got to put them in there so I can go get them installed at the tire shop. Well, do you want me to help you with that before I go inside or? Yeah, I mean, you could if you wanted to, but you don't have to. They're, 
There's no rims on these, so they're not. They're not too too heavy. They're not too crazy. It's just gonna be the uh, fun part of putting them back here. Yeah. Um. Actually, we got snow chains too. Yeah, we did because we're gonna be going through Utah, and you never know during this time of year if. Ah, uh, uh, they won't fit in that. There's gonna be snow or not. I can pull them out of the. I can pull them out of the box, but. I wonder if I can get four. Oh, I know I'm not gonna be able to get four side by side, or standing on its side. Should be able to get four in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna set you that way. We'll set you. All right. Thank you. We've got to get this thing washed and detailed. Yeah. She is looking mighty filthy. Yeah. That will happen. Yeah. We're going to head on in and start getting some of uh, the Julia's dinner ready and yeah. everything like that. Yep. I got something to do for Julia in here and then I can get at it over here. Yeah. So. Hemingway has sent us three kids C1 adventure bikes. They are fully electric and the kids are going to be able to have such a great time. In fact, they, we've already gotten two of them. We put them together and that's for Abe and Scarlett. They've been having a blast. We've been uh, holding off on Julia's for a little bit. It came a little later and uh, it was really, really muddy outside. So today is actually Julia's birthday. So I might as well set this thing up for her and get it all set to ready to go when she gets home from school. She can go take it out for a ride and go have a blast with the, her brothers and sisters. Let's dive in it. If you're looking for that perfect gift for your adventurous kid, look no further than the Hemingway C1 Kids e-bike. This beautiful kids e-bike is the perfect choice for outdoor exploration. Say goodbye to endless screen time and hello to outdoor adventures. The C1 Kids e-bike offers an impressive range of 45 miles that can rival adult e-bikes, allowing the whole family to embark on an outdoor adventure together. It comes with an impressive 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery that only needs charging once every two weeks. So there's no need to worry about running out of power while you're riding. The bike itself is pretty light, weighing in at 32 pounds, but it has a maximum load capacity of 165 pounds. The age recommendation for this e-bike is four to 12 years old. So it's the perfect bike to last through all of your child's growing years. The Hemingway C1 Kids e-bike is honestly built as tough as it gets. It's made for outdoor rugged terrain like ours, or you can also use it on the sidewalks in the city. Wherever you are, the Hemingway C1 Kids e-bike is perfect for that adventure. The Hemingway C1 features three speed settings, novice mode at seven miles per hour, growth mode at 13 miles per hour, and fun mode at 15 miles per hour. The C1 Kids e-bike is easier to balance than a traditional bike. It's perfect for beginners to learn. Their design thoroughly prioritizes children's safety in every detail, and elongated saddle design protects the lumbar spine. Bumper bars on the handlebars prevent bumping heads. The long pedal design protects the ankle joints. The rear wheel axle is equipped with a circular protective cover to prevent foot scraping. The 6061 aluminum alloy frame is sturdy and an overall round design, no sharp angles to prevent scraping. So during the next gift giving season in your child's life, whether it be Christmas, a birthday, or any other special occasion, consider giving them the Hemingway C1 Kids e-bike. It's a gift that they will love their entire childhood. They will never forget getting their first e-bike. I love my Hemingway bike! If you're ready to give your kids the gift of adventure, make sure to check out the link down in the description below. We also pinned it to the top of the comment section. If you use our discount code SLR150, you're going to get $150 off your Hemingway C1 kids e-bike. Guys, this is a deal you do not want to miss. Again, we put the link down in the description below, but we also pinned it to the top of the comment section. 
Make sure to use discount code SLR150 to get your special discount on this special e-bike that the kids are going to love. Thank you again, Hemingway, for sponsoring today's video. I know our kids are gonna really love their bikes. Julie is gonna be super ecstatic that this thing is uh, fully set up and charged up. She's gonna be able to ride around for her birthday. The kids are gonna really enjoy it. So I'm really, really happy that we got these for them. I know that we're gonna be able to go on plenty, plenty of family rides here on this beautiful, beautiful days that we've been having as well as we're gonna have in the future. So thank you again, Hemingway. Back to your video. All right, y'all. Well, my daughter has requested a strawberry cheesecake for her birthday. So baby wants, baby gets. Mommy's gonna get together this cheesecake and I hope that she really likes it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to preheat my oven for 350 degrees. And I got that thing set up right. All I need for this cheesecake is I need sugar. I need um, vanilla extract two eggs and two things of cream cheese, eight ounce packages. So first things first, I'm going to take my cream cheese. I'm gonna plop it inside my KitchenAid. Should probably tighten that on there. There's one. <laughs> All right, now that I got that in there, I'm gonna lock my mixer and I'm gonna turn it on just number one. Get that cream in. While that's going, I'm gonna take two of my eggs and crack them and set them on in there. And then I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and cream it together. Last but not least, we're gonna take a half a cup of sugar and mix that in as well. All right, well that creamed together very nicely. It's nice and liquidated, which is exactly what you want. And now that this is done, I'm just gonna kind of set this off to the side for a minute. Now we need to make the crust. So I like to use the cinnamon graham crackers cause I feel like the cinnamon gives it a little bit of extra flavor, but it's very easy to make the crust. All you're gonna need is basically graham crackers and some melted butter. So you're gonna take your dish and what we're gonna do is we're going to take a package of the graham crackers. And we're just gonna start breaking it up and sticking it inside the pan. And yes, I like to just break it up with my hand because my hands are clean and it's easier than having stuff fly around with a fork or something else. You could put this in a food processor as well. That's another way to get her done, but I like to do it the old fashioned way. All right, so I'm gonna take a stick of butter and I'm gonna put it in the microwave just to melt it up. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that my stick of butter is melted, I'm just gonna go ahead and like drizzle it over the whole graham cracker crumbs. And it doesn't really matter because it's going to get all mixed in anyway. So.
Now we're just gonna go ahead and kind of make sure that all the dry stuff gets wet. And spread it around. All right, so now that I got the graham cracker crust smushed all over the whole pan, all we're gonna do now is take our cream cheese mixture Pour it inside the pie dish. And that is it, my friends. Now we're going to put this inside our oven for about 40 minutes until it's nice and has like a light brown um, layer on top so you don't want it to be burnt but you do want the cheesecake to have like a light brown covering on the top you'll see when i pull it out but that's how you know that it's going to be nice and stiff and it's going to actually hold up for the topping so let's get this thing in the oven alexa Set timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, starting now. I'm gonna clean up my area and then we're gonna get started on the topping. All right, now that I got my area all cleaned up, the cheesecake is in the oven cooking, I'm gonna work on the topping. Now, I got some frozen strawberries. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is pour in, let's just measure just for eyeballs sake. I do all this stuff usually based off of how it looks and how it feels at the time. I don't usually go off of recipes, but for y'all, I'm doing it. So this looks like it's about two cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in there. And now I need to get some water to add to it. So now the strawberries are going to liquefy a little bit and it's going to uh, have their own juices as you melt it down. So I'm gonna start off with about a cup of water and then we'll add more as we need it. And by the looks of this, I'm probably gonna add in another half a cup of strawberries. Yeah, make it a cup. Yep. That's gonna do it. So I'm gonna take the rest of my frozen strawberries and stick them back in the freezer so we can have them for another later date. And now since my girl likes sweet, we're gonna go with a whole cup of sugar. Whoop. That's all right. So I've got the water and the strawberries and the sugar in there. I'm just going to mix it up just a little bit so that way the sugar kind of dissolves. I've got this on high temperature. And essentially what we're gonna do now that I got it all dissolved and mixed in there. I'm gonna take a lid and let it do its thing. I wanna get this thing boiling, but I gotta be careful not to let it overboil. And I have to be careful that the bottom doesn't burn because the sugar will tend to kind of burn. So I gotta keep my eye on this thing get it boiling, keep mixing it, and we'll check on this in just a minute. So while the strawberries are going, I have to start getting things ready for dinner tonight. And Julia had requested orange chicken with lo mein for dinner. Now I'm gonna be the first to say that I am not like an Asian cuisine chef by any means. I've only cooked Asian dishes a half a dozen times or so. I'm still learning, um, but I'm willing to give it a try for my daughter's birthday since that's what she really, really wants. So. I've looked up a few things online. I'm going to use what I have and put my own twist on it. That being said, I'm gonna start working on the chicken first. So I got my little metal thing and I'm gonna put it down here inside the bottom of the Instapot. I've got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. 
and they are frozen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a few of them in here and start cooking them down. That way, when they're all done, I can batter them and chunk them and it will be all good. So I'm gonna throw a few of these inside the Instapot. That's a good amount of meat. I'm gonna add some water in the bottom so that way it doesn't get too dry. So I pushed pressure cook twice, which is automatically setting it for 45 minutes on a very high pressure. So I'm gonna let the chicken get cooked fully and then we'll go ahead and continue on to the next steps with that. All right, so I'm kind of at a standstill in the kitchen while the Instapot does its thing, while the oven does its thing. Um, and actually the kids ended up getting home from school right now. Yep. So we're gonna take the kids out and let them enjoy the new Hemingway bikes. And they've been begging us to go swimming in the creek. I know it's not exactly the right weather for it, but hey, what the hey. So we're gonna go take the kids out and about. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, birthday girl. Hey. 12 year old. So the real testament for these bikes are gonna be if they can go uphill. Now these bikes have no pedals on them whatsoever. And this hill right over here is really steep. Julia, you ready to put it to the test? Yeah, I don't know if I can go down. I don't know if I can go. Well, that's what I wanna find out. I wanna find out if you can go up it. Can she get up it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, heck yeah. You're 12 years old though. Yeah, no, awesome, found it. Three things you like about the Hemingway bike, and go. I like that it goes very, very fast. It can carry me, I'm not that heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that it is good enough for my size that I can ride it because my regular bikes, they, I can't even fit. Three things you like about your Hemingway bike, and go. I like how it's fast, and I like how you can annoy people by doing this, by, bell, by the bell. And my third is that you can do fun tricks on it.
You got mud all over yourselves. Crazy. Watch I out for my lure. I said it was regulation, Dad. I'm sorry. I know, it's all right, but this storm is coming in quick. Yeah, all of a sudden, wouldn't you know, we have a storm blowing through. I guess it makes sense, because, you know, it's Julia's birthday. It's my curse, I tell you! <laughs> Mother Nature said, oh yeah, Julia, you're gonna enjoy the water on your birthday? I don't know. I think again. <laughs> Poor baby. Woo. All right, fun. rinse yourself off from the mud. You too. <laughs> <laughs> rinse yourself off one more time. You still nice. got a little bit on your head. Just real quick. Sting your hair. And then we'll take you guys home, and then you guys can take nice showers. I and I'm gonna finish bed. making your dinner. I'm gonna take you a dinner. <laughs> cutie, cutie, cutie. All right, well, we just got home and the timer for the cheesecake was literally going off. I call that perfect timing if I don't mind saying so myself. So we're gonna check out this cheesecake and then we're gonna continue working on the, uh, the strawberry topping and we're gonna get dinner rolling. Check out this cheesecake, guys. My favorite. Your favorite. That little baby. That's right. And look. I know it, the topping. I'm working on it, kiddo, I'm working on it. Look at that color, guys. That's exactly what you want. That's what I was talking about, how it kind of has like a browning on it, but it's not burnt and it's nice and stiff with no cracking. This is perfect, perfect cheesecake. So I'm actually going to take this cheesecake and I'm gonna stick it right here inside my refrigerator and we're gonna get that thing chilling. Mm-hmm. So I've got a couple things going on now. Now that the cheesecake is chilling, I'm still working on the strawberry topping. One thing that I gotta do for tonight's dinner is I have to start boiling our lo mein noodles. So this is the uh, Chinese style lo mein. I got it at Walmart. It is just basic lo mein noodles. From the directions, it looks like you just boil it like you would spaghetti and then the magic happens after it's nice and softened. So I'm gonna start a pot of boiling water and get these things softened and then we'll make the magic happen. My water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my lo mein, toss it in. And look at that, my strawberries are also boiling. So we're gonna give this a good stir. Oh yeah. Look at that, they're cooking down nicely. Mm -hmm. So in order to thicken the strawberries just a little bit so it kind of jams up and makes the topping, we're gonna add some cornstarch. Now I just do this pretty much like a spoonful at a time until it gets to the right consistency. Let's see how many it takes me to get this right. All right, we started out with three. Let's stir that in, see if it thickens up a little bit. So take a look at this. It definitely has a much thicker consistency, but it's not going to really thicken up until it gets cold and chilled. But check it out. It's got a much, ooh, steaming up the camera. It's got a much nicer consistency to it. And I can tell that by the time that this cools, it will definitely be a lot thicker. There's still a few lumps in here of the cornstarch, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna keep stirring this and try to, uh, to work out all the lumps. I can never perfect and get all of the lumps out. I'm just not that good. Maybe there's a trick of something that I don't know, but it doesn't have anything uh, negative to do with the flavoring. It definitely is gonna taste great, lumps and all. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. Nice. 
All right, so I need this to chill and I need it to chill with the quickness. So I'm gonna set this off into the freezer for a little bit so it can cool down. And we're gonna start working on the lo mein and the orange chicken since my Instapot just dinged and the chicken is ready for me to chop it and bread it and fry it and get it orangey. Oh. All right, so it don't look like no Panda Express and that's all right. The chicken ended up kind of shredding on me from doing it in the Instapot, but that's A-OK. -okay. I ended up buttermilking it and then putting it in breadcrumbs and now I'm frying it in oil a little bit. So it's gonna have some pieces, a little here, a little there, but it's gonna taste mighty fine once we get that orange sauce on it. So I'm not concerned with it one bit, it's going to taste amazing. So now that I got that set up, um, I'm just gonna, go ahead and put a lid on it and just let it kind of finish doing its thing. Uh, the noodles are done now. However, I need to go ahead and drain these out. And then I got to get my big skillet out and start frying those things too. All right, we're going to pour some olive oil in our skillet here. And then we're going to take all of our noodles, plop them in there. So we're gonna add some of this sesame oil in here. And just drizzle it all over. Take a little bit of this uh, oyster sauce. And then we're gonna use some soy sauce. And I probably don't have the right tools to be doing this, but I am making it happen. I'm gonna add some more sesame oil in there. A little more oyster sauce. And some more soy. Now I've got a bag of broccoli stir fry. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here. us to head back in on this chicken and I am cheating a little bit guys I'm not making orange sauce from scratch however I am getting the orange sauce from the store and now that I have the chicken breaded and fried we're essentially going to just plop the sauce all on top of that stir it up Looking good, huh? Yeah. 
I love that, Scarlett. You make that at school today? Yeah. Very bang. nice. Bang. It says bang. Bang, giddy, bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. bang. It was actually pretty hard, but you get the same hair. We made the, to make it where it can go up and down, slinky thingies. Mm -hmm. From paper. Oops. We made it from paper. Very cool, baby. Very, very cool, Scarlett. <sighs> All right. I've got the orange chicken made, I've got the lo mein made, and now I'm just waiting for Abe to get out of the shower and then we can have dinner. So while I'm waiting, I think I'm gonna go ahead and check on that cheesecake again so as soon as dinner is done, we can go ahead and have dessert. Let me check on it. Oh yeah, what? nice and cool to the touch, which is perfect. Oh yeah, guys, oh yeah. Mm. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the refrigerator to chill even more. And then when it's time to eat it, it should be ready. All right, fam bam, it's dinner time. Oh, got it. Oh, water. Water. Got it. And bon appetit. Birthday meal for the birthday girl. Now I hope it's good, baby. I worked really hard on it for you. All right, we're going to enjoy our meal and we'll check back in with here in just a minute. All right, Daddy. It's time for our 12-year-old's birthday cheesecake. Yeah. I love yep. cheesecake. You excited? Yeah, I love cheesecake. How do you, what do you think, 21? baby? It looks good. What do you think of that cheesecake? Homemade from scratch. No, it looks delicious. You like it? Yes. Right. I got my little baby here as well. Oh, I little see baby. him. I see him. He just loafs all the time, but he's actually worth for something. He got a mole the other day. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Julia. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, baby! And many more. Cheesecake time. I know. It's delicious. <laughs> Some more. There's the whole pie for you, baby. I mean, there's a whole cake. Mm hmm. This is called cheesecake, not cheese pie. Uh, you got me there. All right, friends. Well, it's been a very, very busy day. A very good day, good day though. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy our cheesecake and settle in with those kiddos, see about playing a game with them and uh, enjoying the rest of the evening. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today for all the adventures. Yes. And um, as you know, that you, you know the drill, friends. Until the next one, we love you all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.